Hey, Brian Delk here, Triple D Custom Salary. Uh, today I'm going to be making a belt. Actually, it's going to be a gun belt, which means it's just a little thicker than your average belt. Um, to be able to put a holster in the waistband or out the waistband, it's just a little thicker, a little more substantial uh, to hold your gun up. Uh, anyhow, this one's going to be a custom order. Um, it's got some unique design on it that the customer and I came up with. And we'll bring you along with me. I'll show you the process. All right. So what we have here is a strip of leather. It's about a 13 ounce uh, saddle skirting leather that I use, and it's an inch and a half wide and about seven foot long. Currently, I'm going to have to trim it down to 35 inches to center hole. Is going to be my measurement that I got from the customer. Um, so I'm going to square off one end of it. then trash that. Um, I like to have a fold over of about four inches on the end. So I'm going to make a four inch mark about like that. And let's see. I'm going to go 35 to center hole. Now I'm, I'm being not very precise at, at the moment. I'm kind of roughing it because I know it's going to stretch a little as I stitch it in. Anyhow, what I'm saying is my final holes will be exact. So, 35 to center hole. And I'm going to add about 6 inches for the tail off the center. Trim that. Now, I want to through the splitter it's a little thick I know I said I was making a thick belt but I'm also going to line the back of it and so I'm going to split just I'm going to maybe shave a little bit off of it uh, so it's just not so bulky and I'll do that on the splitter Alright, now that we have that out of the way, um, next step is to kind of shape up your belt. Um, decide what type of tip you want on it. You can do different styles. Uh, some people like a point, maybe, I don't, but you can round it off. Um, maybe kind of square them off. You know, just cut some sharp edges. I think on this one I'm going to kind of come to a gradual point. See how that looks. Sorry. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good. On the other end, I just square it. 45. Cut that little foot off. This is the end the buckle will be on. Alright, typically at this point I would go ahead and edge it, uh, lay out my design that I was going to put in it, uh, get that finished and, and then go on to dyeing or 
stitching, whatever type of border you might put on it. Um, this this one, since I'm going to put a liner in it, I'm not going to edge it until I have the liner glued and stitched on it, and then I'll cut my edges. Um, what I do want to do now is uh, kind of lay out where my design is going to go. This one, particular one is going to have a, a double helix DNA strand on kind of starting at your hip and kind of going just hugging your hips I reckon uh, best way to put it and so what I want to do is, is kind of measure out where that's going to be and I would mentioned that it's 35 inches to the center hole now don't forget to calculate the, the uh, length of your buckle because if it's a shorter buckle obviously the 35 inches is going to change um, so calculate where your buckle hits and get that in your measurement. So I'm going to go ahead and set this on here. Measure out the 35 inch center. And I'm going to find the very center of the belt. That's going to be 17 and a half. Yeah. I'm going to put a mark very center, 17 and a half. And I want to start. I want to start my design. It's probably going to be maybe five inches long, is what I'm guessing. I hadn't drawn it yet. So I'm going to start my design at seven inches from the center. So I'm going to put me a little mark there. Measure seven from the center this way. Put another mark. And that keeps me about nine inches from the buckle and about nine inches from where the holes start at the end of the belt. I think that'll work good. All right, so I have my DNA strand drawn here. Um, I didn't want to bore you with me sitting here drawing and erasing and drawing. I've never drawn one of these before. Um, but I think it turned out fine. And anyway, so I've already marked my six inches from my center. I uh, came up with that figure earlier and I put some packing tape on either side you can see the shininess in the center here um, the reason I did that is because my leather is wet and I'm going to transfer this on to the leather with the stylus and what I'm going to do is flip it over and do the back side and so I might just turn it like that I don't know anyway that's I just wanted to show you that little tip there I put the I put a uh, uh, packing tape on there to keep it waterproof. All right, I have my pattern drawn out, carved, and beveled. And uh, what I'm going to do next is dye it. And before I dye it, I'm going to put my stitch groove in there because if you if you try to cut it in after you have color on it, it's going to leave a uh, the natural leather color behind, and it'll leave a, like a lighter line in it. So uh, learn from experience that you want to do this step first, and then and then do your color.
All right, I cut me a strip of leather here to, to uh, line the belt with. This is about a two ounce. It's, it's just uh, cowhide. It's what I'm gonna use to line it with. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna glue both sides with this barge all-purpose cement. Let it get tacky, dry a little bit, and then I'll stick it together. Um, trim the edges and sew it. All right, so I didn't even think about turning the camera on when I was sewing it, but you didn't miss much, just running it through the sewing machine. I uh, put a brown thread on top and on the back side in my bobbin, I loaded up some white thread or a cream color thread. And I thought that didn't want much contrast on the bottom. I know you're not gonna see the back, but there's little details that matter. Um, here's the almost finished product. I just gotta punch some holes and mount the buckle. going to discuss how I make my keepers. Uh, basically just cut a piece of leather. This one's about uh, maybe five eighths of an inch wide and I get the measurement. I set it on a double double thickness of the belt, wrap it around, wrap around to where it meets in the back, put a little mark line it back up with the mark and then I take a stapler so I put two staples in it that'll hold and then Slide to keep her up, make sure it fits right. That yeah, looks nice. Yeah, it looks pretty good. All right, we're looking at final product here. Uh, of side of the keeper, I have Chicago screws on there where you can change the buckle out if you wish. Thanks for watching this video on the custom belt making. If you have an idea of a custom belt you would like to get for yourself, just uh, shoot me an email. I'll put my address at the bottom or a link to my website maybe. And uh, look us up on Facebook. I usually update a lot of pictures on Facebook. Um, so check that out also. Thank you for watching.